Yeah, singing my cleaning song. I mean, I didn't mean to say that. I feel like the weather is playing games with my heart. All right, who's gonna help me water some plants? Me, me. Where's your water buckets? What? Okay, put them under here. We just need a little bit, that's probably great. Now Calvin's turn. <laughs> Perfect. So the kids planted some flowers the other day and I planted something special. We'll see if it works out, but we are gonna try and water these and keep them alive. It's snowing outside currently. <laughs> Okay, will you water this one and I'll let Calvin water those? All across it, perfect. What do you think of it? I want it to grow. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> We're gonna watch it every day though and see when they start to grow. sprout. You wanna bring it over? Okay, bring it over. Oh, um, part of the dirt, the soil. <laughs> Your face looks confused. It's just part of the soil. I'm gonna cover it. Okay, take your finger and push it in then. Perfect. And Calvin, we're gonna move them all over. Oop, there you go. That way not one just gets watered. And your water's gone. <laughs> Do you have more water? Okay, can you finish these two? Good job. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even know Jared was in the shower. I just heard you singing like crazy. Ducktails, woo! <laughs> Let's wash your teeth, come on. It looks like spring inside, but winter outside. We're matching. Mm -hmm. I like your shirt. I love her. Um, I got Julie and I when we were out making bath bombs last week. Me and her, we both got matching kimonos from Anthropology. So hopefully one of these days Julie will wear it the same day and we'll be matching. Ellie has been going to the chiropractor for months now, and I have been asking her to take the camera with her <laughs> so she can film the cracking sounds. <laughs> it's hard to film when you're actually getting the work done, so I'm coming with Ellie. <laughs> And we are going to hear those cracks. So, well, with that, that being the said, the sound of that is your headache is now dismissed. That's right. It's 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 clockwork. Yeah. So, with that being said, if you're sensitive to anything like that, just skip ahead a couple seconds. Well, Otherwise, enjoy it with film. me. Yeah, <laughs> we'll check first, obviously. It's crazy every time, Jared, my neck. <laughs> hey girl, I had a good meeting. Bye. Bye. Little snap, crackle, and pop there, huh? How do you feel now? <laughs> um, you guys, I'm not even kidding you. Like, go to a chiropractor. <laughs> Growing up, we never went. Like. Yeah. But well, it's very in my routine now, in my yeah. life routine. Well, and that's the funny thing is because the chiropractor I had, I didn't like. So it, your mileage may vary, <laughs> but Ellie Sorry, swears by it. Yet. That's okay, I can open my own door. You always make me laugh. Why are you closing your eyes? Forget closet. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> so the last few nights I've been working on just organizing all of the kids' closets, getting the baby's closet ready. The boys have been sharing a closet the last few months and I want to show you guys kind of how I've been organizing it. I just wrapped up a meeting with Bonnie and Joel and Jared about our Bali line. We are working on some new pieces, some more sizing options on our Bali account that's over now. We just had a flash sale on our Easter dress which I cannot wait to wear. And it's just been a learning process, it's been a growing process, it's been 
so fun and my mind is like blown every time we get together. But we only have 60 dresses left of the extra large. So if you guys are still needing a summer dress, we only have 60 left of those ones in that size. So don't forget to check out our website at follybrand.com. We are gonna go show them our closets. Should we start with the babies? Yeah. Okay. So we've been working in the baby's room. We have the rug down. We're working on the shelving right now. <laughs> it's been a hot mess. Jared and I went to do the shelving yesterday. Yesterday, ripped one of these out. It, it hasn't been very pretty, but we're gonna get there. So I need to go into town sometime and get a car seat. And when I get a car seat, I'm gonna get some organizers for the closet. But the baby, I've never had a child that has so many clothes in their closet. There are so many extra clothes for the baby because of Jackson and Calvin. Like, these are all of Calvin's leftover clothes. There's some new clothes for the baby. He got some new jammies from Old Navy. These are the softest jammies in the world, guys. But those are his clothes. His How shoes do are down it? there. How does his feet doesn't come out? It keeps his feet warm. But I wanted one. <laughs> you used to wear stuff like that. Should we find you a onesie jammy? Yeah. Maybe when we go to Target, they'll have one for you. But all of his swaddle blankets are right baby? here. They might have a big size for you. Yeah, why? Because <laughs> you want one, so we'll see. We'll have to see if they have a big size. Would that be silly? Yeah. We have his swaddle blankets and his hats, his burp rags and his bibs. And then I want to get a little organizer for his medicines. Even though we have a medicine cabinet, I just feel like the first year of a baby's life, like especially around six months, like when they're teething tons, like you need gas relief drops and you need like teething gel and stuff. I just kind of like having it in the baby's room. So I would like to get a little cubby or a little organizer for that. And then I'll just put like, look at his little shorts, his little shorts right here. And then he just has some binkies there. So. I mean, it's not way organized, but it's kind of organized enough. So my goal today is to get a few organizers for the baby's closet and to get a car seat. And see, say magic? Yes, I do. Whoa! <gasps> nice job! Good job, <laughs> bud. Then I want you to try. How did you do that? Magic. <laughs> he is so good. So the boys' closets have actually been really nice. They've been sharing a closet, and Jackson has this whole side plus a shelf for his pants. And this is perfect because Jackson comes and gets ready by himself every day. He likes to get dressed by himself. Very little does he want me well, to help uh, him. Someday I want you to get me dressed. Some days, but not most days, huh? Yeah, most days he's like, I can do it. So he comes in, he grabs it, he puts his jam, I tell him to put his jammies away. Half the time I do that. Um, but he puts his socks on, he puts his underwear on, and then he has his shirts to choose from and he can reach his pants. His shorts are right there. A lot of these are from last year that will still fit him. And then he has these cute shark pair from Walmart and then these cute ones from Old Navy that are new. And then Calvin's is the same thing. He has this little drawer. His shorts are on the side, he has jammies, he's got socks, and he has his underwear. Not very many, because <laughs> they're on the washer. And then he has his pants up here and then all his clothes. So I've really liked this setup with both of the boys. And I don't know, maybe they have a lot of clothes. I don't want to say this and be like, they have tons. I feel like they don't have like tons, tons of clothes. Like I just like to have like Jackson's winter clothes. Like these are most, you know, you see them on them all the time. Like they have like a handful of sweaters and then he outgrows them. They go to Calvin for next winter or he has a few that he wears all the time and ends up wearing them out like crazy. And then we donate them. So maybe they do, I don't know. I feel like they're, this is a good amount. Like if they had any more clothes, I would be overwhelmed. But this is their closet. How do you like it? You get dressed by yourself every day, huh, mister? He's trying to, oh, that was a good one. Thank you. It is magic. Whoa. <laughs> you need to hang out with the Bollinger family. They do lots of magic. Yeah. I love having this shelf kind of empty. Well, it's obviously full, but empty just to put whatever we want, like their knickknacks on, Jackson's rocks. 
And these pictures were painted of the kids. I so badly want to get them framed and have them right here and then just like their knickknacks right there. My goal not only is to get a car seat, but eventually get a actual book shelf for the boys because as you can see, their books have gone in here, but it's really small. It's not like a book shelf. So if that's something that is on my list of ideas when I go into town. I feel like the weather is playing games with my heart. One day the weather is amazing. It's spring outside. We're outside riding bikes and playing games and having fun and running and picking up poop with the shovels and everything is great. And then the next day it's snowing. This morning we actually had about two or three inches and then it all melted away. And now it's snowing again. This is literally the weather in Utah. There was two inches of snow. Then around lunchtime, it melted. And now it is, oh, I don't know, let's see, four o'clock, and it is now snowing again. So if you're not happy with the weather, just wait five minutes. And that's like a life principle. Just embrace things. Just take things as they come. And Jared, I'm talking to you when I'm saying that. Yes, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I just, I need to stop having expectations and just embrace it, okay? Enjoy the weather as it is. Okay, I can do it. If you catch this one, we eat chocolate chip cookies. If you don't catch it, we eat broccoli. <laughs> Better catch it. drive the canyon so we'll get a car seat another day it sounds like we're gonna have broccoli tonight jackson no. yeah buddy no. oh. ah, that's my boy I get a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> now he's okay. happy now catch it okay. don't not catch it because i don't want any broccoli <laughs> catch it Mom, Jackson, that was not your fault. Mom gave you a bad it. throw. Redo. Throw it. I'm calling a redo. I'm the referee, and I'm calling a redo. Calvin, every time we film, he's out of the room today. Yeah, he just ran away. You guys just won't see him today. Here, catch. Kick. I am the ball. Oh. Didn't even try to catch it. You fl You, you made me flinch. Hey! <laughs> what are you looking for? Your red plate? It might be dirty. What do you need it for? Um, my red plate. What are you gonna put on your red plate? Um, red cookie. A cookie? <laughs> so Calvin thinks that he doesn't need to catch a football or anything to get a cookie. Let's see. This is all dirty, bud. Let's close it up, okay? You want your red plate? Should we get it? Should we wash it? Oh, actually, maybe. No, it's dirty. Let's wash it, okay? Okay. Here's the plate. Put a little bit of soap on it. Okay. Good, perfect, great. And we'll use the washcloth. Yeah. Get the washcloth wet. And we'll make some suds. We will make some suds, yeah. Singing my cleaning song. Singing my cleaning song. I hope you sing along, singing my cleaning song. Okay, I just washed it, now you dry it. Okay. You drying it? Yes. Good. Is it dry? Yes, it's dry. Okay, what do you want to put on the plate? Um, the tiny cookie is the plate. A tiny cookie on the plate? Yeah. Okay. But you didn't catch a ball. I told him that, and he said, I don't care. Of course you did. <laughs> I flipped you off too. <laughs> um, Calvin, I don't see any tiny cookies. I just see big cookies. No, it's tiny. We can break it apart. That's a great idea. No, no, no big one? No, tiny this. We'll find the tiniest one. Okay. <laughs> That's the tiniest one. Yeah. 
Is he? Oh, just going for the chocolate chips. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Good. Do you want some milk? Okay. You can't have a cookie without milk. And just like that, not one hour later, all of that snow is gone and melted. Ellie, I think you are exactly right. The weather is all over the place, just like your hormones. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Why would you say that? No, your it, hormones are just right, Ellie. It is true though. I think I've had Mom, a harder time mentally some, yeah. this time around. I'm gonna give Steve to someone. You <laughs> Aww. Who are you gonna give them to? Twenty minutes. Aww. Are those your friends? Your neighbor friends? Yeah. How sweet is that? I'm gonna give them to them. <laughs> Jackson, okay. that's like the nicest thing. Holy crap. But I'm gonna do that. Okay, you hold them and we'll give them to your friends, okay? Okay, I'll just uh, knock on the door and see if they like them. Aww, okay. This one's for Bennett. Though. Bennett. Okay. This one's for Cody. Okay, go get your shoes on. Are we doing this right now? Are I we guess we're doing I guess we're doing this. I'm not gonna say no. Yeah, seriously. We made cookies and he said, can I give these to the, my friends? And usually I'm always like, yeah, yeah, but it was snowing. Or snowing. Yeah, and it was I, snowing like crazy. And I said, no, we're just we're not good. That was really cute. That was cute. Okay, hey, I guess we're going to the neighbor's house. Let's okay. go. He just told Calvin to go under, and then as soon as Calvin got under, he opened it to go okay, out. Mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you. I don't want you to go inside and play. You just knock on the door and say, "Hi, I want to give this to Bennett," and then you leave. You don't go in the house to play. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna watch you. Make sure you listen. Okay. Okay. So the time's not coming. Well, Calvin looks like he wants to come with you. Can you walk with him? Yeah. I'm gonna go to Bennett's house first. Okay. I'll watch ya. <laughs> he found toys to go give to his friend. That's so sweet. I want to show you guys one last thing. I kind of wanted today's video to be a little bit more about like organization. Not that I like did organization, just kind of showed you our what we're kind of doing and planning. We recently, Jared had hung this up that he got from Lowe's that has like our mop and vacuum on that I really love because it used to be on the floor. But my whole pantry looks so different than what it was. And Jackson walked in, Bonnie walked in, and they're like, what, it's so different. So I finally got around to organizing, and I am so happy with it. Our pantry is really big, and so it's not all just food. So up here I have my bread bowl, and I have my Ziploc bags up here. These all came from Big Lots, and this is like the kids craft stuff that I don't really want them getting into and so it's more like I have them in here and then I get them out for them to play with because like the puzzles would be they would never play the puzzles if all of the puzzles were mixed together so puzzles are in a box crayons markers those are more puzzles play-doh paper scissors and like Jackson's like preschool craft books are all in there I find a lot of his preschool stuff on Amazon like I just searched preschool books and a ton of cool stuff comes up. So that's where that is. This shelf is usually fairly empty and then this is just like my um, mop and my cleaning bucket with my with my stuff. So that is that side. Um, these are amazing. Again, uh, we got these at Big Lots. So these have drinks in them. This is our fruit. Um, this is like pasta and cooking stuff. This is like all of our rice and granola, chocolate chips. And these are just like extra cans that I have on hand. It's always nice to have some cans of food. Marshmallow stuff, our treats are up here. We've got bread, straws, breakfast, snack stuff, crackers, and then of course like cereal and like graham crackers and goldfish are in those, and then our oatmeal. And then down here, I love having a stool in here, and these are um, gather mats that I really liked having my 
flour and sugar in here. What are you doing? What is it even made out of? Like, this is like the most. I thought it was Calvin thing. crawling in. Jared's playing with the kinetic sand. And then I have another little thing of like flour and sugar that I eventually want to like get in there. This has been like a fun thing for me to do is just kind of like, just do this. Yeah, it feels good to have this looking better and having it more organized. So that is like some of the spring cleaning stuff that I've been doing. I would love to know what your guys' spring cleaning goals are. I think that's about it for the house. You mad, Jackson? Are you happy? Okay, he's happy. Good good grief, I thought you were gonna. I'm inching my head back. I'm inching my head. Oh, wow. That is it for my spring cleaning. The last and final thing we really wanna do is just finish up the baby's room and put some shelves up. Should we do that today? Ooh, um, we could try. We tried last night and we got a little frustrated. <laughs> Kids, we want you to go downstairs so Daddy and I can play with the sand. Oh yeah, we want to play with the sand. So why don't you guys go play? Look, there's my face. <laughs> <laughs> you see my face? That's my nose. <laughs> so we're gonna go play with kinetic sand and that is our day today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. Bye.